First of all, a huge, huge thank you from my side that I have the privilege to speak to you. Thank you, uh, Matt Gabbard. Thank you for your ministry. Everything what you are doing is such a huge, huge honor to be here. And also a big, big thank you to Mark Gabbard. Thank you that I could speak here. It's such a huge honor. And also thank you for every mighty uh, man and woman of God who is sitting in all the different ministries. It's just an honor to be here and speak very, very briefly. So my name is Yannick and as already um, John said to you guys, um, I'm also running under the umbrella of CFAN Christ for our nations. We are really blundering hell and populate heaven. And we are normally known for Africa. Who of you knows Reinhard Bonnke? Yeah. Yes. Come on, praise God. Amen. And we really believe that the same thing what Reinhard did in Africa, he also wants to do in Germany. Yes. Because we believe the harvest is ripe. The harvest is ready. And even I really got convicted by that because there was a time in my life I wanted to be everywhere except for Germany. And then God started to break my heart and show me God wants to save this nation. God has something prepared for such a time than this. And that's the reason why I really want to share about the things, the spiritual atmosphere, how it has shifted in the last two years. And I really want to say there's a shift at the moment happening and a shift that already started since the last two years. See, in Christ for a Nation is, as I said, normally very, very popular for the things they do for Africa. But now they change actually also kind of the cause in the sense that they are starting to mobilize evangelists. They, they actually teach evangelists evangelists through different projects and schools because they really see the urgency for Germany, for Europe, for different places on that earth to be shaken with the gospel. So as an example, they have the fire camp. It's a really brief training seven days where equip evangelists to be sent out into Europe. Also the school of evangelism, for example. It's a five week of period of training where they train evangelists to go to preach the gospel and do crusades, but not in Asia, not in Africa, but in Germany, in Europe, but you know, they have different SOEs all over the planet, but the one in Germany is really based for Europe, that Europe shall be saved. And I believe really there's a time shift happening in here and it's so incredible the fruit that is already starting right now through these trainings. The platforms were established because people who were trained by and take actually the baton of the gospel and start to run with it. And I just want to share a little bit about the crusades we have started to do here in Germany two years ago. It was so incredible. This is also the place where I met the first time Jonathan so amazing that I had the privilege to meet him there the first time it was so awesome and actually there was a crusade happening in a village or it was like a small city in the south of Germany actually in a city called Finningen Schwellingen and there was a guy the name is um, David Ronimel and David Ronimel is a Seafan evangelist who preached the gospel everywhere but God told him Germany is ready and first of all he was like Jonah running away from Germany going everywhere except for Germany but then God told him, go to your hometown and make a crusade there. And he was obedient. And he started to connect with all the pastors of the region. He started to do what is needed to be done. He made pastors meeting everything. And he did what people told them it's not possible in his hometown. And he did a crusade. And it was incredible what God did in a very short period of time. And we literally in Germany saw heaven opening up. We saw the spirit room shift. And we saw an openness to the people to hear the gospel like I never witnessed before. It was incredible. We had people from all over the place to come to really minister even for the crusade on the streets. And we were evangelizing every single day on the street. And then I think a uh, uh, four week of period, we saw literally 1,000 people praying the prayer of salvation, getting saved on the streets in Finning and Schwelling. And it is incredible. And then everything was lining up to the main gospel crusade. And it, it was just mind blowing what happened there we saw literally like we saw a person who could not hear on one ear very well completely healed we saw literally people who use classes where were healed and don't didn't need them anymore we saw people getting delivered from demons it was incredible i felt honestly like being in africa and it was not africa but it was germany it was a village in germany where god said i want to move i want to change something and i want to show that i am the king of germany and what was destroyed i'm going to build up again it was incredible and now I want to what I kind of show the connection to the CFAN trainings because a lot of people actually who came there it was people who got trained by CFAN we have now a huge network that is growing and the people from CFAN they're like hey I want to go there I want to go there I want to do something and we partner with each other we work together with each other we come together for one goal to plunder hell 
to populate heaven and to see the kingdom of God grow. And this is just a small testimony for Finning and Schwellingen and just for you to have a kind of an understanding what God is doing in Germany. I also want to show the video. We can kind of show the clip right now. incredible how God is moving and even the prophetic picture of that all so many people I know who were there then did different trainings to get equipped in evangelism because they got that heart for evangelism so there's a much much bigger fruit than just that one event but there's a prophetic picture you can see how God is raising up evangelists how God is stirring up something on the continent of Europe and after that thing we were like we need to run we need to preach the gospel so then we went to Freiburg and we did the same thing there we planned a crusade but we really failed to make an emphasis on the part of discipleship and we started even before we started discipleship group where people come where we had like 30 people in one discipleship group it was incredible people from the street who got saved and I really want to tell testimony of one guy it was incredible he his name was Frank he was a drug addict from Nigeria he was gone he didn't have a work he had nothing he um, had a girlfriend but they broke up he had a kid like everything was messy super messy how messy it can be and we met that guy and we talked with him about Jesus and then he was not ready to get saved but we invited him to our new believers group so he came with us to the discipleship group and he really said one question he said Yannick how can I overcome the temptation of the devil and we were like man you gotta you need to give your life to Jesus that's the only way like you need to get saved and then he was five minutes struggling in his heart what he should do and then he went on his knees and he gave his life to Jesus and the crazy thing was the moment he was set free he didn't smoke money uh, uh, smoke money money mar marijuana anymore every other trucks he took he stopped he got to work after three weeks so he had to work he started to care for his family for his kid he started to take the kid to church I met him actually a half year ago at another night of hope we had at the Bowden at the Lake of Constance area Area, and he was there he's on fire for Jesus like that guy was transformed and that guy is a testimony for what God did and it's just one example of plenty examples I could share about what God did how God is restoring a family how God is like bringing things together again how God is doing something so God really started to shake that place and then our shared we went to a different place in the same year and said we do an other nights of hope why because the harvest is ready so we went then to Friedrichshafen it's a very small town at the Lake of Constance area and we did an other nights of hope there and God again showed up we had the school of evangelism having their two weeks of outreach there they went to every single village it was crazy like I knew the villages because I lived there and I organized it and I sent them literally to all the places it doesn't matter how many people there I said 
if it happens, you preach to the cows. But I want, I want everyone to hear the gospel. So they went to all the different places. It was literally incredible. And they really saw God moving. And there's one specific story I want to highlight how easy it can be. There was one person, they shared about Jesus with that person. He had a really messed up life. Also how like his wife was also really messed up. But they, after the conversation, said, hey, do you want to come to the Knights of Hope? So the, the flyer was given to that guy. His name is Siggy. And Siggy didn't really want to come, but the Spirit of God worked in him. So he decided to come. He was addicted to alcohol. He had all kind of crazy issues in his life. He was like... Um, his, his mother was a prostitute. He was living like in a different kind of house. It was crazy. Like his life was messed up how messed up it could be. He wanted to commit suicide. Everything was completely crazy. And that guy came to the altar, walking to the altar, nailing down, giving his life to Jesus. Three days later, getting baptized in the lake of Constance. His wife <laughs> repenting as well. And now they're both following Jesus. And I can tell you guys, this guy is an evangelist. Like I, I sometimes text with him and he's like, Yannick, how how do I speak to Catholics about Jesus? Can you help me? Or I have a friend, he's Jehovah Witness. Can you help me? How can I share the gospel with him? Like he's an evangelist and everyone who is surrounding him, he's sharing the gospel with. It's incredible. The fruit who is coming out. And right now we are actually here in Berlin because we think God want to shake Berlin with the gospel. So we are here, we are doing something called City of Light. We really believe for Berlin to be shaken with the gospel. We collaborate with all different organizations, with all different different kind of churches we have I think all in all around 40 of I think it was uh, let me check I don't want to say a wrong number but I think it was 40 um, yes, it's actually 40 different ministries and churches we are partnering with together right now for the City of Life uh, festival we are going to have to preach the gospel and we are going to preach the gospel on the streets and it's incredible because again, we are inviting the young generation and all, it doesn't matter which generation, we invite them to come with us to preach the gospel on the streets. We have a two, two weeks frame where we are going to go on the street every single day. We are going to preach the gospel. We are going to see the blind eyes open. We are going to see God really shake this place and we are going to see the kingdom of God come and then it's going to end from the 12th to the 15th of September in a mass gospel crusade called City of Light Festival and we really believe that God is going to shake this place with the gospel. We believe this place is going to be transformed forever and we really believe that the king of glory is going to come in and it's so incredible because again it's not something just the evangelist comes and does something but it's a cooperation with all kind of churches with all kind of people People, and we are working together with them. We are training churches in evangelism. We are training them in discipleship. We are training them in all these different kind of areas to really get them ready for the harvest to come in and also be a part of the harvest. That again, the fivefold ministry is going to come into the churches again and specifically the evangelists. This is our heart cry. This is what we are doing and it's incredible. And I really want to give out just an invitation for each and every of you. It would be so amazing if you guys could pray for us. We really need prayer and it's so incredible that you guys are here praying for the city because we are standing on your shoulders. We are literally standing on your shoulders, on your prayers. We are going in here and we know that God God wants to do something and it's not a coincidence that you guys are here praying for this place bringing heaven on that place to really transform the spirit like the 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 the, the, the place here and I really believe it's not a coincidence so I want to say a big big thank you and also encouragement we need your prayers and the second thing is we really need here as a as a team spiritual father spiritual people who are mature so I really want to ask you guys to pray to partner with us and also if you have like people it doesn't matter what age um, and you you really say like hey I feel that they should come here to Berlin. We have a gospel invasion and we are going to preach the gospel every single day. We are working with all kind of organization who are here in this place and we really want to give an invitation for them. If you know people and you know they are evangelists and they would it would be an encouragement to them to have other evangelists surrounding them preaching the gospel from the 2nd of September till the 11th of September is the time period where we are going to be on the street every single day preaching the gospel on the Hermann Platz, on the Alexander Platz, on the Brandenburger tour, all these different places. So if you have people, just invite them to come here. Um, you can connect them with me. And I think really it's going to be a big, big blessing. And this place is going to be never the same because one thing is the reality. Jesus is going to come in. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.